Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back, it is day number 9 here of the third season, we're about to get straight on into it, I'm just slightly concerned because about a minute or two before I was about to start my internet went out for like 2 minutes, I don't know why, but yeah, hopefully it's all good and there's nothing goes wrong here. I'm praying my Renar seeds have bought, but yeah, only one way to find out, let's get on into it. Okay, moment of truth, they did not buy, are you serious? Oh my gosh. Why, why are Renar seeds 28k? It's, I'm gonna cry. I can't even get a Renar seed for 26k. I just got one for. That is disgusting. I don't want to pay that much for seeds when these are so cheap. The profit's not quite as good, but it's worth it when these are so expensive right now. Probably doesn't help that I always log in at weird times in the middle of the night. Like, it's 10 to 6 in the morning right now, but so prices are all going to be weird. We just sold a Renar seed. We sold that Renar seed up then, so quickly. Wait, that was quick, right? If they buy it, depends if they sell now. Right, we've cleaned up our invent a bit and we got some Toad Flax seeds, which isn't as good profit as Renar's, but it's still decent profit, very decent. So we should be fine with that. Let's go ahead and get our birdhouses done because we've already spent three minutes just at the GE here. And in fact, while I'm here, I think I'm just going to top up on potato seeds. Oh shit. Yeah, we sold those Renar seeds. Am I tripping? We bought them for 26.2, selling them for 27.3. Like that's just 10k profit right there for free. Feels like a dangerous game though. Does feel like a dangerous game. I don't think I want to do that anymore. Okay. My brain is still just trying to catch up to the price of Renar seeds right now, it is ridiculous. So we are going to be cracking on with that Slayer today. We've got 33 Anku to kill, which should be a nice quick task, and then we'll pick up another one probably from Vanaka after that. Hopefully we can get two or three tasks done today. I don't know. We've got five levels away from Royal Trouble and another eight after that from Perilous Moons. Although we do get 5k XP from Royal Trouble, which is nice. Seven seeds on that run as well, not terrible. Okay, we get ourselves the Explorer's Ring and our standard runes. This, this and this. All good to go. Can we get a 6 out of 6 day is the question. I feel like we've had one so far. Also, it is a good job I just got that farming level, because I think I needed level 38 to plant Toad Flax. I did not think that through when I bought them. I mean, I did think it through. It was all planned. I'm totally a genius. And the grimy ones are worth slightly more, but only three coins, so fuck that, I'm getting my XP. Oh, my sound effects are super low as well, because I turned them down to flick. Three for three. Four for four. Five for five! Just Mauritania left. Let's go, six out of six. Very nice. Except for that annoying prick. We are going to have less profit coming in tomorrow though, which is kind of sad. But we basically spent nothing on these. I think it's like 50k a run less. Not a patch a run. So it's not too bad. Alright, and we got 45 runars. Which currently sell at 8k a pop. It's a good price, so I think I'm going to go put them straight in the GE because I did just sell some while I was out doing those runs. So if they're selling right now at that price, I'll, I'll slap them in. Get it insta sold. So did the bird's nests. Almost back to a mill now, y'all. With seeds planted and seeds for tomorrow. The toad flax. Okay, time to crack on with our slayer training. I'm hoping I don't have to flick all day today. Let's get this so that we can go get resets if we want to. Okay, I think I'm good, so I'm just gonna go. Oh, please tell me we can use this shortcut. We can. 
Okay, Anku. I'm probably not going to use the ultimate reflexes, incredible strength on these. It's pretty easy to kill anyway, and I just want to get my pro melee up and hopefully get it done in one sin. Ah, uh, 33. I can flick 33. That's not too bad. Okay, but let's turn those effects down again. 11 blood runes is not a bad drop. It's 2k. 27 kills. We're looking at one level this task. It's actually not too bad flicking one tick in situations where you don't have to worry about anything else. It's not like I'm one tick flicking a mage in the fight caves, you know? Like, I'm just sat here killing fucking Anku. This task probably shouldn't take us too long. I mean, the Slayer Estimator is saying five minutes, and that gets us within three of completing the task, so... Seven or eight minutes, maybe. I don't know, that's overestimating. Six minutes, I reckon. We'll be done by 37 left on the clock. Let's see if a fucking Dagonoff just started on me. Get out of here, bro. This ain't your cave. There's 57 strength. Very nice indeed. I'm gonna repot once the current dose ticks down. Not much point buying super attack and super strength if we end up using the uh, regular combat stat part portion of it. And there is a Slayer level, along with a black robe and an ancient shard. Just three left to kill him out. And there's the task. Another ancient shard. Jesus, we're stacking those up. Wish we had some sort of use for them. Let's just get ourselves to the enclave. I think we want to be doing the knacker. It seemed pretty decent. I didn't hate that task. I like getting little quick ones in. And we've actually done eight tasks, which means our tenth is going to give us a bonus. So I think I'm going to be risky with it and go for the highest Sly Master that we can on the 10th task, which is Kona of all places. So who knows where we might end up for that. Let's just see if we can get another little quick task to whack out to get us there. 47 otherworldly beings, weak to magic. Okay, I remember where they are. I don't remember how to kill them. They have minus five against magic, but we could melee them. Do I want to mage them? What level do we get the warp scepter? 62 magic. Uh, yeah, let's go get that. What am I talking about? I didn't know we had access to the warp scepter. Let's go. 160k. That's not too bad, to be fair. All right, get some... Do we have chaos runes? We got 260. Earth. How about we just get a couple thousand? They're not that expensive, I don't think. It's pretty expensive. Oh, well. Right, let's slap 1,600 charges on that. Gives us plenty to work with, and then we will equip it. Oh, our Black Mask isn't going to be in effect, though, is it? That's kind of shit. Why? I don't really want to mage these guys. I don't feel like I have much of a choice, though. Because I've just bought the Warp Scepter. If I hadn't, then it wouldn't make a difference, but I did. <sighs> oh, let's give it a whack, see how bad it is. If it sucks, we can always just switch back to melee. We can do this on defensive as well to get some extra defense training because it's the same attack speed on every style. Okay, I'm so pretty sure we just have to like go on the opposite end of the pond and then hit them. I don't think they're aggressive. There we go. Okay, this pond doesn't look like it, but it is actually just a big square. So you can quite easily safe spawn any side of that. No drops here, unfortunately, but I don't think the Slayer XP will be too bad. We'll be due another level from this task by the looks of things. And it's expecting it to take about 17 minutes, about 20 minutes for the entire task. So we're not going to get very far into our next task, but we will get to see what it is at the very least. I don't know what he's stuck on, but I'm fine with it. I guess this tile? Is this tile not enterable? Yeah, it is. Oh. Have they got like a 2 by 2 box? Is that what it is? No, they don't. I forget why they get stuck on this corner. We do still need more magic levels at the end of the day, so this isn't bad for us. And we're getting defense XP, which is needed. Actually, just got my first drop with some nature runes. Oh, at that time, he didn't get stuck on the corner. Very inconsistent. What the fuck, man? I hate Zanaris. Did I just get turned into a pig? Is that what I was? Yeah, our goal is 75 magic, so this isn't bad in any way that we're getting levels here. It's very chill as well, not having to worry about my prayer after so many times flicking. And there is 63 magic. Oh my gosh, it turned me into a pig again. Thanks for interrupting my DPS. Five minutes later. Stop turning me into a pig, bro! 
As if this task isn't already lame enough. Keep fucking interrupting my DPS. To be clear for anyone who's not aware, that isn't anything to do with this enemy that I'm fighting. That's just Zanaris. If you stay in Zanaris long enough, weird shit happens. While I'm finishing this task, I'm gonna double check that we do have the requirements to use Kona. So I don't run all the way up there and find out we can't. It's just combat level 75. Yeah, we're 76. We are high enough level. Is likely to be a much longer task. There's probably only a very limited selection of things we could get from Konar at this Slayer level. There's like Kalfi, Anku, Trolls, Fire Giants, Blue Dragons, Red Dragons. We have a Barbarian training, so we shouldn't get Water Fiends. Hellhounds, Great Demons, Dagonoth. There is 37 Slayer as the Zanaris Choir comes to troll me. Tell you what, we are actually munching through charges on this stuff. He's like 300 already. It's not actually better DPS than the Ibans, but it is cheaper to fire than the Ibans because it doesn't use death runes, so. I think it is the better option in terms of overall efficiency, both time and GP. Last one here. Not really the best task. We got about 4.5k magic XP and... 3000 Slayer XP, I guess isn't too bad. It was a pretty quick task, but yeah, the combat stats didn't go up that much. We got 3k in defense and 4k in magic, pretty much. So let's go to CIR and see Konar. We do not have the agility level for that. Although they did lower it, I think. I never got why they had a different requirement, though. Like, no one's going to use the first one if they can't use the second one, too. It's quicker to go this way. Please don't give me something dire. Trolls in the Troll Stronghold. Okay. What's the easiest way to get to the Troll Stronghold? I guess it would be AJR. Do I have Stony Basalt? We can't use Trollheim Teleport until we've done Edgar's Ruse, which we haven't done. All that gives us is Herblar XP. We don't really want to do that. I guess it'd be AJR and run, but we'd need Climbing Boots on us. Okay, I'm just gonna go kill, like, ten or whatever, just till the bird houses are done. I'll just take a regular combat potion, I don't really want to use super doses for this, when it's just at the end of the session. I should've brought food. Oh well, doesn't matter, we're not there for long. Oh, I didn't bring climbing boots either, an idiot. Should've brought stamp too, to be honest. It's a bit of a run, innit? I just want, I kind of just wanted to see how bad it is to get there. It's not the most ideal task. But it is a doable one, and it's one we can do with melee, though we're probably going to end up having to flick most of it. I'm not really sure where the best spot to kill them is either, inside the stronghold. So we'll have to figure that out. I wonder if they count, because they're not highlighted. Oh, and there goes my run energy. Okay, so definitely bring at least one stamina dose when we're in here. Yeah, that's highlighted. Come here then, you bitch! Actually dying pretty quick. They've probably got a lot of defense, haven't they? I don't think there's really is. Oh, I think, there, yeah, there's a few in that room over there. That should be where I do it. If I want to sit here and flake and have the magrami. It isn't more is here, so. Okay, so if I just stand like here in the middle, they'll probably all aggro me, right? We'll just chill here for a few more minutes till there's like three minutes on the clock and then we'll dip. Okay, they have a very small aggro range. I mean, we'll definitely get to 40 off this task, I reckon. Yeah, it's like 90 XP a kill. Pretty good. 10 kills, 1k. we got 24 kills to go to the next level. It's like 40 kills a level. Maybe 50 for the level after that, and 60 after that. But we, I think we'll get there on this task, is basically what I'm saying. So tomorrow we'll be finishing this task, and then maybe starting Royal Trouble. Alright, let's do this last one. We've got an insult troll head. Probably the best profit task we've had so far. Trolls drops are not that bad. It's just awkward to get to, that's the only bad thing about it. So when I do come back here, I'll probably be trying to do it in a single trip, but that might be tough. It's gonna require me to flick all day again, basically. And there's all the birdhouses done. I am just gonna try and get myself to the GE real quick. Put an offer in for some Renar seeds at 24k, because I think if we can get them for that price, I'm happy to use them. 600k at the minute, we did spend a bit on that Warped Scepter. Not ideal. Alright, hopefully it does buy, but we've got Toad Flux for tomorrow either way. We do have a Warp Scepter now with a bunch of charges on it, so that is uh, an option for magic training should we need it. Some random bits here. 
just to sell a star tomorrow. Yeah, it's kind of been a slow day, but it's just been slow and steady, not slow bad. 45k gained, 6,000 in Slayer only, unfortunately. It's been a rough day for the Slayer itself, just two levels up to 37. However, I'm pretty sure that most of our day tomorrow is going to be doing that troll task, if not all the day tomorrow. Hopefully we can get it done and hit that 40 Slayer, and we can get ourselves an extra 5k XP from the Royal Trouble reward, as long as improving our miscellanea. The combat training, on the other hand, we have had some decent gains, despite the Slayer not being quite as good. We had 12k in strength, got a level there up to 57, tiny bit in defense, 3k four and a half in magic and then other than that we've got 8k hit points as well definitely nice to get that as high as it can possibly go a little bit of farming and hunter as per but yeah it's just been a, a solid day of carrying on progress of the slayer it's a bit grindy at the minute i appreciate that it's probably not the most exciting variety of content right now it is what it is I'm going to have to just get through this, and we'll get through it together. At least we're gaining decent levels along the way, you know. We're starting to shape up into more of an effective account, and it's super fun swinging those sulfur blades, I just have to say. Like, I'm happy that I decided to try them out, because they feel so fun to use. And I can't wait to start ripping into the sulfur Nagoa with the plus four min hit against them on every hit splat. Like... We're going to be actually, actually slapping. I promise you all. Plus we'll have Moonlight Potions, so it's free. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's worry about the now, and what's happening now is I'm ending the video. So make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe, because you should all be subscribed to my wonderful channel so you can see all the terrible content that I create. That's right. For 10 out of 10 quality, terrible content, there's no better place to come than Widowed Place. I guess. Yeah, fuck it, we'll end it there. Look after yourself. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.